I've never been able to park in a garage until I bought this house. You may have noticed by the number of videos that I've made of my Jeep's windows being cut. I'm in a nicer neighborhood now, but I still like to keep my baby safe, so I like to park her in the garage, which I'm still getting used to. I like to have as much room as possible so I can get access to the workbench that the previous owner left here. Oh, and to those that say I need to work on a workbench like random dad and real dad, That's about all I got to work with. But don't worry, I'm planning on making a better one in the future. To nail the parking every time, I'm gonna make a stoplight thing. Yeah, it's a stoplight. Or it's like at the car wash, the thing that tells you to... The device is powered by an Arduino Nano and uses a rotary encoder, ultrasonic sensor, OLED display, and some LEDs. The way the device works is very simple. It senses the distance of an object in front of it, and based on how far it is, it will turn on one of the three lights. It's pretty easy to understand. The furthest away is a green light, closer is yellow, and closest where you're supposed to stop is red. I made the red light distance a variable in the code, which you can adjust with the rotary encoder on the side. And the yellow and green lights are based on the distance of the red light. So for example, I adjust the red light to 24 inches. In the code, I have it set to the yellow light is 24 inches past the red light. And lastly, the green light is another 48 inches past the yellow light. Anything less than the variable threshold will result in a red light, and anything six feet past the variable threshold will result in no light. I have it set that way so I can see the device turn on, and I know that I'm not getting a false green light that's gonna make me back up too far. Of course, all the ranges can be adjusted in the code. This is just what I went with. I also added an auto set function. When you click the rotary encoder, it defines the red light distance to what the ultrasonic sensor is currently reading, just so you're not scrolling all day. The build could end right there, but I wanted to visualize what's going on, so I added an OLED display which shows the current distance that the sensor's picking up, as well as what the threshold is set to. And just because I thought it was cool, I added a little startup screen to the OLED. This is the first iteration of the box. As you can see, I was a little unsure of how I was gonna mount it, so that was an afterthought with a drill and a pair of pliers. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. I'm wanting to put some sort of diffusers over these just to make them look more like a stoplight and less like little LEDs sitting here. And I also thought about using multiple LEDs, but just the single ones were bright enough, so I didn't wanna over-engineer it and take too much time on my first iteration. I left the hole big enough to run an extension cord for the ultrasonic sensor. I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it, if it needed to go in another spot in my garage or just stick right here. Sticking it right here was just fine. On this side, you have the rotary encoder, which can turn and click, and you have the OLED display. But on the other side, you have literally nothing. Now brace yourselves, I'm going to show you the inner workings. <laughs> and you can see that right here, I did a few more modifications with the pliers just to get it to fit. But it's a prototype, I don't know what you want. These wires that I got from an old Cat5 cable were not the best to use. They're solid core, so they're not very friendly to work with or flop around, so everything is kind of springy. So here I put a resistor for all of the LEDs on the board. They share a common ground. Then the positive leg of the LEDs go to the corresponding digital pins. And then of course, I wired up the rotary coder, sensor, and the OLED. For powering this, I could use the mini USB that's on the Arduino, but I decided to just run my own power bank and not sacrifice one of my USB cables. And this is just a basic 5 volt 2 amp transformer. Again, I know this looks really ugly, but I'll have the schematic code and everything linked below. Right below the subscribe button. It's kind of bugging out from being on the table, but you get it. Okay, I've got the device powered on. Now I'm just going to show you a test of me walking back and forth. First step is going to be setting the range. I can either do that by spinning the dial or clicking the dial while it's looking at the wall. So I'll click and 29 inches. Anything inside of 29 inches is red. And I'm gonna start backing up. Outside of that is yellow range. Keep on going, trying to hold my arms steady. Green, further back, and it turns off. And again, going towards you. So when it picks it up, green range, keep going. Yellow, even closer, and then red. <laughs> Well, I'd say that works pretty decent now just to uh, put it in my garage. My Jeep is about where I like it, so I'm just gonna adjust with the encoder to set it to where this is a red light. 81 inches, give or take an inch or two. And now every time that I back up, I should see a red light and that tells me when to stop. Putting that thing to good use. Nothing left to do but get in and test it out. Sorry to interrupt, I just have a quick announcement. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I'm going to be giving one of these away. I made a second one in limited edition orange filament because I ran out of yellow filament. I also cleaned up the electronics quite a bit using better wire. So if you want this second one that I made, leave a comment saying that you think it would be helpful 
and also subscribe. This year, I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers before my birthday. I'll pin your comments and reply, and then we can figure out the details later. I'll be sure to sanitize everything. All right, thank you, and back to the test. Orange, here in my garage. I'm here in my Jeep, and hopefully you can see that that's where the little stoplight is. I'm gonna pull out, try to keep the camera just like this. Not sure how well it's gonna go over this bump, but this should give you a pretty good idea of what I see when I reverse in. So right here, I'm at the edge of my garage. You can see that the green light has turned off. So as I get closer to it, we should see it turn on and then go to the different ranges. So try to hold this. Green light. Going into the yellow. And then red, stop. Nice. <laughs> I would go ahead and call that a success. Well, I think that turned out well. I should really try and sell these things. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to figure out how I can do this, then go check out my last video. It did not do well. And please comment on the video. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what you want me to build, how my eyebrows are. I read everything and I really like the back and forth. Thanks again for checking out the video and I'll see y'all next time.